What is up guys and girls? So in this video we're going to be covering a couple more of these game mods in the form of weapons. Now the first one is the Spiker and can be found on the steps of the Old North Church which is just north of Good Neighbor. Now this weapon cannot be modded so grab it and we're going to head on out. Now this has a base damage of 100, so not too massive, but it also has a chance to stagger on hit. I love how this chick dies. Toodles. I really think this would be a lot better weapon if you could mod the actual weapon and uh, customize it to your likings, but I'm sure these kind of things will come with time. So I ran around this area and tried to pop as many heads as I could. And then we'll head on over to the next weapons, which uh, We've got a couple of good ones, the, the Boomstick I absolutely love, and uh, Majestic as well, so let's have a look around after this. have the short boomstick of the gods. Now this can be found at Vault 111, just to the left of it. Quite a few of these weapons spawn here. Now this has a base damage of 315, so quite powerful and would most likely irritate most enemies at point blank range. And this can be modded, so let's go over there and do all the obvious mods. Then we're going to head on out. Now this is definitely a gun I'm going to be keeping, just because of the amazing sound it has when you have headphones on, and obviously has its perks with destroying your enemies. The only issue I have with this gun is the fact that it doesn't auto-load after you fire both rounds. So that would be an awesome little update to add to this. Now one thing I forgot to mention about the Spiker is the fact that you can only get the ammunition for that with the DLC to Far Harbor. Now I had the glitch where I couldn't get back to Far Harbor even though everything was installed. So I followed the coastline on the far east hand side of the map all the way up and eventually you will be able to get to that house. I have heard reports of some people not being able to but that's your best chance of getting it. But when I did get here all my missions have been reset, all my settlements have been, well have just disappeared which was quite devastating but on the positive side I've got all these quests to do again and that can be quite a lot of fun as well with all these new weapons so with a negative comes a bit of positive as well so this gun is just fantastic for close hallways such as this and <laughs> will make quick work of most feral ghouls I wish they would make a, a will feral ghoul that would be awesome
Right, so next up we have Majestic, cool name for a weapon. This is a pipe pistol which has an explosive, well, has explosive rounds and does area of effect damage of 15 points. So it can be quite useful and this is quite similar to the Spray and Pray, which also has the area of effect damage, which I used for a long time. This one can also be modded. So head on over to the modding page, add your mods and off we go. Now this isn't a very exciting clip, but I kept it in to show you that the only glitch I've ever had with the simple green mod is there over there on the right, that those black squares, and I've only ever seen this in the Far Harbor DLC, and I know I've said it before, but the simple green mod for this game is just, as you can see, look at this, it's absolutely amazing, I strongly recommend that, and it hasn't seemed to have any glitches for other mods, so that's pretty good. Now this gun is just perfect for these lower level ghouls because the explosive damage just dominates them. Okay, so you can tell now these guys are way more hardcore, level 135, and present way more of a challenge, but still the weapon seems to hold its own and sort them out quite rapidly. And this is the weapon I found on that fella. Pretty good one actually. I was kind of hoping this guy would be a higher level for a grand finish, but he wasn't. So we're just going to take him out and head on to the next weapon. So next up is the Winchester Rifle of the Guards. Now I also think this is going to be a keeper for me. I absolutely love it and is located above Vault 111 inside this guard post. It has a base damage of 209, which will go up to about 500 after the mods, and we'll head out after that. We ain't alone. 
So it will, as per usual, take out these lower level enemies fairly quickly, but also has the ability to do some serious damage against some enemies I'll show you a bit later. But it's been a while since I've been able to sneak around like this. Also wearing that armor that makes you go invisible. When you sneak, there's a couple of uh, armors like that. But uh, yeah, I kind of had fun heading off to the Arcadia, the first mission of the Far Harbor. And it was perfect with these guys popping up every now and again. And as you will see in a couple of seconds, the hip fire ability isn't so terrible either. If this long fellow guy keeps running in front of my line of fire, he's going to become short fellow because he's going to lose his fucking head. Although he gives you quite a good perk. I wonder if I get the perk again since I already have it, or do I? Anyway, here's some tougher enemies, and as you can see, a couple of crit shots to the heads, and it's all over. So here we have the final enemy for the video, and it is a legendary, so I'm gonna leave you with some end screens as per usual. And I'll keep making these videos if people keep making mods. So hopefully they keep doing that so I can keep doing this. So I want to say thanks for watching. If you found the video informative or enjoyed it, please leave a comment. Ask any questions you might have. And I'll see you next time.